So welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to Shellington. Really, really hope you've enjoyed the series so far. I've got a lot more to come with these vlogs. So we are now into early winter. Um, I thought I'd do a quick little vlog and then once this is done the next one will be in the spring and we'll be in the planting time. So silage has fermented so that is ready to go. So what I'm going to do, we're just going to throw the silage straight So I'm just getting used to this again. So we're going to fill up we're going to fill up the container with all this. Now I've done some calculations um, been thinking what to buy next on the farm so apart from we're needing the cedar the next obvious the next obvious thing to go is a bigger trailer so i know which one i'm going to go for um, it's just getting the money together to get it but that then will bring I think 60 something thousand litres so what that basically means is instead of doing like four trips to the BJ it'll be down to two so that will be that now you're probably wondering why and I've just put that straight onto the floor so I'm going to have to pick that up in a minute so you're probably wondering what sort of the money situation so I have purchased uh, one more field so that's done uh, and that's why we're down to where we are so that was quite a, per a expensive purchase um, and it was all the legal fees behind it as well so that was that pretty much so what I'm going to do that's enough of me yakking for a minute um, let's just get the drone up and let's just get all of this in the trailer and down the BGA because I don't really want to take too long doing this because you've seen this a billion times before.
so welcome back to spring um you may be wondering what's on the back of here well there's been a new technology over the wind that's been i've been inquiring about that means that harvesting and stuff should be much better quality uh overall so i don't know if it's going to work because it's got the snow on the ground at the moment but i want to pull that up uh, this is the mini map. Come in the field 99. Uh, I think that's the unfold button. Yep, it is. Unfold it. There you go. And then do that. And this then just takes soil samples. And it works in the snow, which is absolutely. Brilliant. I'm going to come over. It does take a little bit of money as well. So I'm going to come over to about there. Just try and work out. And just try and get the whole field covered. So I've leased this off the company. They could have come and done it themselves. But it would cost me... I absolutely arm and leg. I was like, actually, I'll just do it. I'll just do it myself. Because it won't be that expensive to do it uh, myself. I know I'm slightly out with. Come on. I know I'm on snow trains, but it should be okay. Uh, let me try this top corner. Right, that's five taken there. So that's basically what this is just going around. So we did get the income in. I've got a few things to show you in a minute in the yard. Um, that you might find quite fascinating. So I'm just looking at the screen, just making sure I've got everything I need to get covered, covered. So this, what this should do is bring much more accurate results in for when you like fertilizing, uh, I said your lime levels and then your overall your harvest uh, levels as well. Much easier if the square was not round, if that makes sense. Um, right. Be so much easier. It's good that we haven't got too many fields to do. Because that sort of makes life a little bit easier. Um... But yeah, I hope everyone's had a good winter. Uh, we've had, as you can tell, we've had a bit of snow out in Chillington, which hasn't been too bad. It's been bearable. I haven't done too much through the winter. Uh, the odd job here and there. Um, but I'm still waiting to get paid. So I did a little bit of snow clearing here and there. So, yeah, that money should be coming in in the next couple of days hopefully so yeah so the plan over the next six months generically is alright I want to go this way And then this way. It's a little bit there I've missed. Right. 
so yeah it goes down and it comes back up which is pretty awesome uh, where are we and then we want to be there it's quite a nice view actually So we're up to 14, so we want to head into the bottom field. So what I'm going to do is start, so I've come across, work out where the boundary line is. It needs to come this way a little bit more. Okay, there we do. And then that comes up. So it's just doing that, so, I, so what I'm going to do, she's you've seen enough of this, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. So that's all taken and done, so let's press that, and that will send that to the lab. Right, get rid of that, Ooh, and that will be done, so that's good. So what we'll do now is fold. That's folded, so that's good. Let's go pull up in the yard. They'll come pick that up tonight, so that's great. Uh, what I'm going to do is... Still got a lot of snow on the ground, so there's not much we can do, really. So I'm close to ending the episode there, I think, or the vlog. Um... I just want to just run for a few bits and pieces beforehand though. Uh, so I want to do that, that, leave this here. So over winter, got a few supplies in. Yeah, so hose, hose reel for the pressure washer, uh, two bags of seed, front bag loader for the telehandler, those bits you knew already. Now, the interesting part, some stuff I bought, so this here, ready ladies and gentlemen, boom, welcome to your cedar. So this here I bought off eBay, uh, went for a nice hike to get it, so that, that's the cedar, should work, I mean it should work, it's been serviced, and then I found two things, I found this. And I found this. So that's your cultivator. And then this is your plow. So. It wasn't on this farm I found them. When I went and picked up the cedar. Um, that was in the back of a. Um, sort of abandoned warehouse kind of farmyard. That was being slowly taken apart. So I paid £600 for the plow, £600 for the cultivator because they were like, we don't know what to do with it, it's going in the skip, basically. Um, so I want to go, I'll have it, basically. So that's that, really. There's not much I can do now till mid spring. So I think, if you give me a second, let me pull up my tablet and we'll look at this so I've marked what fields we own and it is sort of a filter column you can take so um right I want to have a look at no soil composition right that's what I want to look at so don't worry about them because there are grass fields it's this so it doesn't need plowing okay that's fine. Right, this is what I was waiting for. So, ideally you're looking for loam. Which just seems to be the bottom end of this map is. So this is loam. That grass field is going to produce horrid because it's loamy sand. Them two aren't going to do too bad. Because they are sandy loam. So, 
our best grass field is 102. So if I want arable, so what I'm thinking is this is sort of a Google map. Let me get rid of these. So this is sort of a, a Google map uh, overlay of everything. So more than likely our farm's here. So long term probably buy that one that one this grass field these four down the bottom here that one that one possibly this farm so there's a lot of expanding that we can do within our own farm and then we've got this bit of wood at the top so there's enough stuff that we can do um and if i come out of this show quickly so it's the field the big field so in by next winter, you can see the field information that comes up on the tablet on the left, on the bottom right hand screen. Uh, pH value at the moment is good. Nitrogen is low, so we need to put some nitrogen on here. Um, so if we head it across here into this, so tell me what no. So this field here, um, the moment is always growing cotton, I don't know why. This is, so this will keep us going. So if we can get this arable field, the one that's at the bottom, sort of there, that will keep us going for quite a while actually. So yeah, so I think that will do it for this episode. Um, really, really hope you guys have enjoyed this this episode i know it's been really really short i don't actually know how short it is till i come to edit but yeah when we're back it'll be mid spring snow will be lifted and it'll be time to get stuff in the ground and then also probably at the end of that be grass kind of cane so yeah thank you for watching see you guys very soon